Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Celebration Spotlight Day 10. I can't believe this is the last day of celebration. Today is Sunday, February 28th. If you haven't already and you want to, there's still time to get your celebration order in. You can order in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use that host code if you're ordering less than $150 and you can choose a free gift during celebration for every 50 that you order. I'm sure you've been following along at this point every day for the last 10. I've been sharing projects using all of the exclusive gift options that you can get during celebration. And we are all the way to the very end of our celebration brochure. Today I will be sharing some projects using the Punch Party stamp set. This stamp set was available as a free gift to hosts who had a party that was $300 or more, or if you placed a $300 personal order, um, which I know some of you did and took advantage of that. So you got this extra bonus stamp set. So hopefully you will be able to use these ideas. Now, if you didn't get the punch party stamp set, it's not too late. You can still place a $300 order today and you can get this punch party stamp set for free. I have a couple extras, so I will be giving away a punch party party stamp set. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and give away two. So one's going to be on Facebook and one's going to be on YouTube. So um, I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite punch in the catalog is. And later on this evening, I will go back through and everyone who let me know what their favorite punch is, I'll put their name in a drawing um, and I will draw one winner on Facebook and one winner on YouTube to get my extra punch party stamp set. I have to add a little stipulation in there. This is only for stampers in the United States. It's just the way Stampin' Up! runs. I'm only allowed to sell within my market and so postage wise it's just easier to only send to someone in the United States. So I'm sorry if you're not in the U.S. This giveaway is only for U.S. stampers. So tell me, I would love to know, did anybody who's watching, did you get this stamp set? Did you get the punch party set? Did you have a party or place an order yourself that was over 300? This stamp set is really awesome because it coordinates with several punches. I love punches because they're quick and easy. Um, so this stamp set, let me show you here. <laughs> this stamp set coordinates with three different punches specifically, though you can use so many of the punches with these different images. So um, one punch, that it coordinates with is a rectangular postage stamp punch. Obviously you can see this stamp is made to fit in there as well as this one and the sending you smiles for every moment of your special day also fits inside this and <laughs> the rectangular postage stamp the postage punch. Another really popular punch is the double oval punch. This is brand new in the mini catalog and it's so popular that it is temporarily sold out in the United States. Unfortunately, you will be unable to order this punch today. However, it is coming back. So do not worry. There will be more opportunities to order the double oval punch. We've got some stamps here that coordinate with that. This one, let me show you really quick. The double oval is um, part of a bundle that includes some other images that are coordinating with that double oval punch. So let's take a quick look in the catalog. Like I said, it currently is not available to order in the United States. I'm trying to remember, I was just looking at the inventory status report and it's not going to be back in stock until oh, I think April. So it's going to be a little while, but check out this awesome stamp set. Um, you can get the stamp set right now, just not the double oval punch, but I love how we have so many different sentiments that are fitting inside the oval punch. Of course, you can use these sentiments in any punch uh, and love this tiling here. That's such a fun card. So keep an eye on this one, plan it for a future order, but I just wanted to point out that um, that it coordinates with this punch party stamp set. The other um, punch that it coordinates with, grab them behind me is the heart punch pack. So we've got um, the scallop heart and the solid heart. They're um, combined together in the same punch pack. And of course they, um, they go with this one and then the oh baby you already you are already loved more than you know that fits in the heart too and you make me happy you make my heart happy that one's a little it's a tight fit but it does does fit so gosh I love uh, I love a party and I love punches, so punch party is so amazing. Now, I really don't have many swaps. I think I've got one in my bucket, which I forgot to pull out. So I'm gonna kind of give some close-up views of these projects that are shown in the brochure because um, they're just so, so much fun. So we've got the hearts here, the postage, 
um, punch there and then the oval oval punch there lots of ways that you can use this lots of colors and look at that guys my name is in this brochure well i just assume that there's a j in front of the uli <laughs> are there any other names that end in uli that it would be no that hurts for me <laughs> oh okay let me show you i've got three more card samples these are cards that stampin up shared some really simple stamping cards and so that's kind of what we're going to do today we're going to do some simple stamping and the first card we're going to make was inspired by this card here i love this like collage of using the just for you uh, behind the punched sentiment so let me grab some card stack i've pre-cut this card is yellow but i thought i'm going to do some flirty flamingo and we're going to use that on the next card as well so what i did is i just have a regular card piece and then this front piece is just a little bit smaller i did um three and seven eighths inch by one or five and one eighth inch on this piece so it's like right in between two regular layers so we're going to use the just for you and create the background and we're going to do that in the flirty flamingo and this is so, so easy. And again, you could do this with any um, any stamp set that you have. So even if you don't have the Punch Party stamp set, you can create this kind of look um, with your sentiments. So what I'm doing is I'm stamping and then stamping again without re-inking. So I sort of get this like, um, this look of, you know, um, d different strengths, right? So like, it just creates a nice, dynamic background okay so that's going to be the background i think that's enough i don't want to overdo it and then we're going to use the scallop or i guess it's not a scallop it's kind of a scallop it's kind of a loopy loop design and we're going to do that on white cardstock well that's really pretty and then um i want the words to kind of stick out and be a little bit um easier to see so i'm going to stamp that in um soft suede that's pretty. Where did our oval punch go? Here it is. Okay, so with the oval punch, these images or these punch shapes are made to layer together. Let me show you really quick. So the solid oval, obviously, is made to layer onto the scallop oval really nicely. Or you could do uh, how I did it and just have the that loopy and the image all in one. So I'm only using the scalp there and not layering. Isn't that just a cute card? I do feel like we need to add some more for yous. So let's just get that stamp back out and we'll just come over a little bit more with our for yous. And that, oh, that fills it in nicely. Okay, so super, super simple. You could add, it looks like they have added some um enamel enamel dots there so um let's grab let's grab something and see what we have i keep all of mine is this the right box i keep my um i keep my rhinestones and things in a like a shoe box like this i think i got it at ikea um for my rhinestones and my pearls i actually keep them in clear um, empty stamp cases because I usually have like multiple packages and several open at a time so that's just a hint to keep your things organized sometimes I keep them in a plastic bag these are all the same kind of rhinestone the holiday rhinestone oh maybe it would be pretty to add some pearls that might be a nice one I'm just kind of pulling out to see what other colors and shapes that I have these are really pretty too have you guys seen these elegant faceted gems so there's like a clear a champagne color and then like an opal that is really pretty um if I did different colors maybe I would add the butterfly gems but I didn't so <laughs> I'm not gonna get those out um Oh, snowflakes. I think I'm going to go with one of these. Maybe the pearls. I like those. So let's stick these back in the box and just slide the box back on my shelf. It's all, it's all behind me. I love my, my stamp room, everything. I try to keep it within an arm's reach so I can just turn around and grab what I need. All right. So 
there's our little punch sentiment and you could do this like I don't even think they added a layer like I did I think it was just a straight up card so this would be really cute on a note card as well um, but we're we're just gonna do pink on pink simple layering simple stamping is definitely my style I love this. Now my paper trimmer cut like almost a little, it wasn't frayed, but I just have like, this was the, I would say the back side. Usually I put that side face down, but there was some kind of smudge. So I flipped it over and I kind of like the dimension that it gets. Can you tell the difference how it has like sort of a, not quite fuzzy edge. So let's add some, let's add some pearls and I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to do the pearls exactly how they had the rhinestones there. What do you think? Quick and easy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. How about another card? Uh, one of the things that I really love is the, um, the postage stamp punch. I feel like I haven't used it enough. So I wanted to create a card using the postage stamp punch and some designer paper. So I decided to break out that stack from yesterday. Remember this? Did you guys see that video? Yesterday I showed you or talked about and showed some projects with um, the giant stack of paper. You can get all of this paper free when you join as a demonstrator during celebration. Today is the very last day. Oh, geez. <laughs> Today's the very last day to get your five free stacks of designer paper. Here is the starter kit link if you're interested in joining my team and getting your five free stacks of designer paper. Today is the last day. Don't wait. Tinyurl.com slash SU starter kit is the link. Oh my gosh, let me move this stuff and clean up my little mess. I'll put that link in the description of the video too and we're all done. So I broke out some of this paper. And to help me come up with a color combination, after the video yesterday where I just kind of randomly came up with color combinations, I remembered we have a color coach. Have you guys seen this? They, um, Stampin' Up! created this color coach and posted it back in 2018 when we had a big color change. Uh, my mom laminated this for me and then I cut it and put it on a ring. Let me show you how it comes. I've got the printout. It is seven pages and it comes six to a page like this. You can download your color coach for free at http colon, colon, whatever. <laughs> the URL is tinyurl.com slash capital S, capital U for Stampin' Up, capital C, color, capital C, coach. tinyurl.com slash color coach. And you're going to be able to download this document, which has all of the core colors in it. So this is our four um, color families, the subtles, the brights, the regals, the neutrals, you've got them all in this color coach document. And so what it does is it gives you color combinations, three different color combinations for every single color. So this is super awesome. You can either leave it like this on a, on a page and then put it in page protectors and put it in a binder, or you can print it on cardstock, laminate it or not laminate it, and you can punch and put them on a giant ring like I have. So this is a really great resource. If you ever feel stuck on color combinations and you're just not sure what colors to put together, then you can turn to your color coach and help you figure it out. It's also really great if you have cardstock and you're trying to figure out and match up. If you have an accurate printer, like this one looks like it's pretty accurate. There's the Flirty Flamingo and that looks pretty darn close. So that will help you kind of figure out what color you have or what color you're using. So I thought I would turn here to the Flirty Flamingo card and come up with a color combination. And I really love this one here. I feel like that is super springy. So we're going to use that combination on our card. Flirty Flamingo, Old Olive, Daffodil Delight. And I wanted a fourth color, so I came down here and pulled in Soft Suede. So that I... I sort of merged, <laughs> merged the lines there, but we've got this great color combination that came from the color coach and I punched four of the rectangular postage stamp punches. So let me pull those in here. And so I'm just going to arrange them across the card like that. This is a white piece of cardstock that is for, I think it's this, oh, this one might be, it might be too small, actually. Let's go ahead and cut a new one. 
because I think I want to do a full four inch by five and a quarter on this. This is like a standard, standard size card front. This will give us a little more breathing room for our postage labels. And you can kind of, kind of angle them if you want. Okay, so um, this is sort of reminiscent of like the, what they're doing here. Here, they stamped um, on the edge that frame from the set. And instead, we're just using solid, solid designer paper pieces. Now, I love um, the stamps that go with the rectangular punch. My heart is wherever you are. And then there's a heart to fill it in. So let's, let's stamp and punch that. I, I'm... I don't think I'm gonna like the way this works. So this is, <laughs> we're gonna have a backup, but we're gonna start with this and see, see what we think. My heart is wherever you go. I just love that sentiment. I feel like that with my, with my kids. Wherever they are, that's where my heart is. Um, so then we've got the heart to fill it in. That's so fun. And we're gonna punch this out. That's lovely. Okay, well, the, my original idea was that I would put it like across this way, but I feel like it is too wide against the postage, the postage punches. So I'm gonna do something a little different instead for the sentiment. Um, instead, I'm going to use a strip of cardstock. Here's one, it's three, in, it's three quarter inches wide and we did this the other day with the tailored tag punch i'm going to create a pointy tip on the tailored tag punch and create a long tag i love using the tailored tag punch this way and this is my favorite punch <laughs> we talked about favorite punches the two inch circle punch and the tailored tag punch are my favorite those are the ones that i use the very most um, and there's just so many ways you can do it. So you can create like a banner tip like this. You can create a pointy tip like that, or you can just punch the shape. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I think what's going to fit better is a long strip across like that. So let's do a sentiment that this is meant to fit in the oval. Oops, I just sat down and I wasn't ready. Uh, this is meant to fit in the oval, but it, it will also fit on other shapes. And then we've got this cute little um, flower from the same stamp set. So isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. Okay, so there's the flower. There's the thanks. I think those are the only two we just used right there. A heartfelt thanks for everything. So simple. So cute. I'm gonna, I don't like that it's the backward side. I'm gonna save that one, just stamp it again. And I feel like we need to add some, um, some pearls to this too, don't you think? Yes, Julie. <laughs> Let's glue this down and add some pearls. And um, what else was I gonna do? Oh, I left this one out. This one's so pretty. I'm just, just gonna stamp that really quick. Sending you smiles. Oh, you know what? Let's put this on the inside. That wasn't very dark. We're going to put this on the inside of the birthday card. We'll use our postage punch. And this is begging to be colored. Let's just grab... Let's just grab a quick pink, quick pink marker. Oh, we might have to grab a green marker too because there's leaves. <sighs> do you guys struggle to come up with color combinations? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I, I pull my color ideas from designer paper and other times I, I just feel stuck. Okay, that's gonna go on the inside. I really am trying to be better about inside stuff. So this is gonna go right in here. It's, I feel like it's a different, I'm gonna put it in the corner. And that'll leave this room over here to write a message. 
Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. Okay, time to glue this one down. We'll start with the white. And truly, like, you could do any combination of colors with the designer paper. So you can use your color coach and your stack of designer paper, and you can create all kinds of cards with this layout for any occasion. If you don't have the rectangular postage punch, no worries, just to use whatever punch you do have. that one out a little so kind of like a zigzag going on okay some stamp dimensionals of course because why not I feel like it's so quiet today the kids are outside playing I don't know it just feels quiet there we go mm. Mm -mm -mm. simple 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 heartfelt thanks what can we put inside here don't we need to put something in there um you make my heart happy let's just yeah let's go punch crazy a heartfelt thanks you make my heart happy I'm just gonna bust them all out And boop. let's get our white cardstock scrap. I'm gonna do, it seems silly to do a brown heart, but I wanna do the words in pink since they stand out the most. But I come down here. sweet. You make my heart happy. Oh, pearls. Were we going to add pearls to this? Sure. For some reason, I'm just not seeing comments today. Let's put them on the flowers. All right, what do you think of today's cards? Aren't they so cute? I hope that you will download the color coach and give it a shot. There's that uh, flirty flamingo color combination that we use today, but there's so many. Like I said, there's some for every single color, core color. I don't know that there are in color color coaches. I'm going to do some more digging on the demonstrator website and see if I can find. If I do, I will share the link and um, I will put the link for this in the video description. But just in case, really quick, there it is again, tinyurl.com slash su color coach. That's where you're going to find the link to the document. There's seven pages that have all the color combinations for the colors. Make sure you leave a comment and tell me about your favorite punch. I'll be drawing for a prize later on today. And guys, just one last reminder. Today is the last day of celebration. You can place your celebration order in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. You'll get a free gift for every $50 that you order. No limit. And it's the last day for the free designer paper pack when you join my team. If you want to do that, the URL is tinyurl.com slash SU starter kit. If you're interested in more information, be sure to see the video that I posted yesterday about all the perks of joining my team. But in the meantime, this concludes the Celebration Spotlight video series. I hope that you've enjoyed all of these project ideas, sharing with you some ideas, tips, techniques, and card layouts that you can use 
<laughs> with all of the gifts from the celebration brochure. Whether you have these or you have other things at home that you're substituting. I hope that you've enjoyed this video series. We will do daily videos again, I think when the new annual catalog comes out this spring. So stay tuned. But of course, I'm going to continue sharing stamping on Facebook and on YouTube. We'll be doing Thursday night stamp therapy every Thursday at 7, 10 p.m. Central Time. So I hope you'll join me for that. Leave a comment and say hello. I'm so sorry I couldn't see the comments while I was live, but I will be sure to answer any questions and um, say hello when we're all done. Have a great weekend. Have a great March and I'll see you next time. Bye.